Since news broke that Miley Cyrus settled the $300 million lawsuit brought against her by Jamaican entertainer Michael May, more popularly known as Flower Gun, speculation have been rife as to what the actual figure settled on may be. Concerns have also been raised about the entertainer's safety. In this video, I will try to shed some light on this ongoing conversation and speculation with a view of providing at least a little clarity. Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! However, before I proceed, let me hasten to say that the information in this video is not legal advice and should not be taken as such. It is purely for informational purposes based on research. In the United States, sometimes lawyers accept cases on what they refer to as a contingency basis. This simply means that the lawyer accepts the case but charges no money up front. The lawyer gets paid a certain percentage but only after there is a court award or a negotiated settlement of the case. He gets nothing if he loses the case. The percentage the lawyer gets is usually fixed by the laws of individual states but is usually around 33.3% of the money. Some states have a little higher percent take for the lawyer. Some contingency cases do not use a fixed 33.3% rate and instead use a sliding scale. For instance, a scale could be like 40% of the first $100,000, then 35% of the next $50,000, then 25% of anything above that. These are just example figures to bring clarity to what I am explaining. But generally, it works out to be around the 33.3% mark or a bit more. There are a number of things that have to be done when lawyers take on a case, be it on a contingency basis or on a retainer and hourly rate basis. These include filing and paying the necessary court fees. In some cases, the lawyer needs to hire investigators and experts as well as other necessary undertakings for which he has to lay out his own cash. These money he will recoup from any settlement or award and that will be in addition to his approximately 33.3%. When combined, these necessary deductions will result in a much higher take for the lawyer than the contingency agreed upon. Bear in mind, if he loses the case, he loses all that investment cash he had laid out. It is being alleged that Flowergon made a statement to a media house that his legal team took 55% of the settlement. I cannot confirm that to be true. But if the DJ actually made such a statement, then we have nothing else to go by except his words. Much speculation is circulating about the amount of the settlement. But since it has not been made public, we may never know. We can however assume it was not $300 million. This is because a settlement in civil lawsuits is a way to reduce the cost of a lengthy and expensive trial and to eliminate the possibility of a bad outcome for one side or the other. In my research online, Miley Cyrus is listed as being worth approximately 160 million US dollars and if this is true, I am sure she did not make all that money from the one song she was said to have had a copyright infringement. Now, I am going to do a little deductive reasoning. I am of the opinion that the settlement would seek to assess how much money was made from the song and seek to share the amount. It is therefore inconceivable, at least to me, that any sharing of gains would be of an amount that wipes out Miley's net worth. Besides, it is not unusual for corporations and celebrities to have insurance that covers lawsuits of this kind. All in all, this leaves us still none the wiser about the settlement amount. Meanwhile, there are growing concerns for the safety of the artist following reports of the settlement. Flowergon has reportedly been receiving calls from all over the world since the story broke. His lawyer Stephen German had this to say. I have a client who lives in Jamaica and because things have developed since this news broke that was beyond our control. I wanted to emphasize to the leadership, but I do believe the safety of Flowergon is important, not just to Flowergon himself, but to the entire Jamaican community. Because if harm were to become him, then the impact would also be far-reaching because it would deter people like myself and others to not want to travel to Jamaica. 
teach them. Hey, yo, hello. Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment below. Remember to like and share the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. Follow me on social media and check out the suggested videos on screen. This is Teach saying, until next time, walk good, my friends.